that this tarot reading finds you well. I just want to say I appreciate all of you and thank you for all your support and those who have booked readings with me. <coughs> hmm. I think I burned too much sage. I'm going to go. All right, Capricorn, we're going to go ahead and see what we have for your energies here with tarot or with Oracle and then we'll jump into tarot. Then we'll get a couple more Oracle cards. We'll take a look at your current challenge this week. And then you can follow me below if there's an extended, okay? All right, Capricorn, what do we have for you? What do we have for beautiful Capricorn today? Okay, don't let pride get in your way. Hmm. Balance spirituality and practicality. Pisces energy. And a new romantic cycle begins. Okay, so, um, Capricorn. I feel that currently you guys are trying to handle some stagnancy. A, a, a cycle is, it's clinging on. Something is clinging on to you in love. Uh, with the with the balanced spirituality and practicality, I feel like you guys can't think. I'm getting a fog, like a brain fog. You guys can't think there's something that is stuck in your energy that is not moving forward out of your field. I do feel like here maybe you're clinging on to something or someone is clinging on to you here out of pride, out of the fact that this is just how it's supposed to be. This is what I'm hearing is like, this is this is just how the experience is supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to unfold. Some of you guys may be in a relationship or around a specific experience that hasn't changed for quite some time. And I feel like someone is just hanging on out of sheer sheer pride here and it's it's actually affecting you spiritually it's affecting your normal everyday life so either it's like maybe there's a decision that needs to be made or a conversation that needs to to happen there needs to be a push this is this is what i'm feeling like something needs to be adjusted and something needs to be pushed in the right direction okay and we're gonna figure this out with tarot all right Let's see what we have. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Don't let pride get in your way. Yeah, there's definitely some clinging here. You need to push. Okay, yes, five of pentacles in the reverse. High priestess in the reversed. All right, so Capricorn, sometimes, sometimes we hang on to things because we're afraid. We're afraid of either the truth or the truth coming out or someone learning something about us we don't want them to learn. I feel here with the with this high priestess energy in reverse there is something that you're hanging on to within you um, that is being asked to be released here. With the five of pentacles it's almost like a fear of expressing something within you towards you know outwardly outside of you expressing either pain or an experience that needs to be worked through in the physical reality i think this is something that you've been hanging on to for a while maybe out of the idea that it has to stay that way it has to be that way. There, there's a push that needs to happen in your energy that's creating a bit of a fog in your everyday life. So whatever you're clinging on to here, I definitely feel it's been a mystery to either others around you or those that you, you know, you haven't expressed to them maybe how they're making you feel. 
this high priestess energy is literally a challenge here for you to like get out of a mode where you feel like you're not you know able to conquer this specific situation based on holding on to, to your own pride or your own stubbornness of not sharing this specific detail or a way you feel about something going on in your life. So you're getting pushed here with Leo energy to have the confidence to work through that, that, you know, don't let the pride even get in your way. Maybe you're afraid of others and how they'll respond to whatever it is that you're keeping a secret, okay? So let's take a look at the present energies with uh, balanced spirituality and practicality, Capricorn. All right, we have Eight of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles. Capricorn, a tree can't grow right a tree get we cannot grow to our fullest potential a tree can't get anywhere uh, unless we allow ourselves to give it the space that it needs to grow i mean if you plant a tree in a very small box and it has a tiny hole where some sun and is getting in and maybe occasionally you water it it's not going to grow very big it might encompass within that box as much as it possibly can um, and yes, it could eventually break through, but this box, you know, how dark is it? How dark is it in this box? I feel like some of your potential is being wasted here with the Nine of Pentacles. If you would allow yourself to actually communicate, you would you would be able to, to break this open and flip this energy here and get out of a, kind of a, a held back mindset about your own capabilities, okay? So... If you want to restore balance to this situation, we must understand that a tree, a, you know, if you want to see it bear fruit for you, if you want all your hard work that you've done on yourself to show, it's, it's going to require us to balance certain aspects of ourselves, of, of who we are, or aspects of our life, or past deeds or energies that need to be worked through because I feel here most definitely some potential is being wasted that you could be balancing out massively and it would it would benefit you greatly to discuss it so let's take a look at the romantic cycle begins in reverse so we have ace of pentacles coming out okay and Ace of Wands. Wow. So here we are in this future energy. I feel like some of you guys really want an opportunity at love, a big one, and not just any kind of love, okay? You want something that feels good, something that feels passionate. Sorry about that. I actually hit my camera stand. I was talking so much with my hands, it came out. Um, anyway, you guys want something that not only works on a practical level, but it also is passionate it this is all about your inner spark your spark here in romance in love it you're looking for it all okay i feel like you are the only thing missing here is the ace of cups you are definitely looking for the entire experience of love but you may feel like if you continue on this path of you know keeping things to yourself that n an energy that needs to be expunged and worked through we're gonna miss out on these opportunities but here they are they're, they're waiting for you they're looking at you in in your face right so if you're wanting a new cycle and you want to break out of this old one you gotta have to take on the whole fiery energy and the earth energy with these two you're gonna have to plant a new seed my dear and burn away the old one that's literally what i'm hearing burn away the old one plant a new tree okay because whatever's happened with this old one there's something corrupt at the core that's keeping this tree from growing to its fullest potential within you here with the nine of pentacles so you can have all the fruit that you desire okay so what is your challenge your challenge at the bottom of the deck here is the ten of swords so hanging on to pain right this this will affect the way that your tree grows 
it's going to massively you know if we we can't water ourselves with pain you can certainly try but what kind of fruit is that giving you right you know and the the, the beautiful thing is is that sometimes right a, tr a tree can hurt right a tree can hurt us you know uh, you climb it too high you can fall you can grow a tree that's filled with brambles and uh you know each thing we grow in our garden our own personal garden has a purpose um but if you're looking to create a, a new romantic cycle with someone that's going to require a whole bunch of openness to be able to grow a garden with two people okay so if we're hanging on to singular pain or solo pain um maybe it's time to plant a whole brand new seed here that's passionate with another person okay with another or with uh, whatever situations are going on in your life mm. okay so let's get you some energy then we'll get you a nature's whisper this is energy oracle more insight please more wisdom than this victory in the reverse so there's a possibility of two things here one being afraid of losing uh, a version of ourselves you know being afraid of losing that specific tree that took time to grow but like you just got to shift it right the other is that there could have been a loss here that you were hanging on to for quite some time out of pride like maybe it was helping form a specific narrative in your life that um has yet to have been let go of okay so you know how is this loss affecting you how is it affecting your current status let's get one more okay we have amplify your positive emotions wow <laughs> the water right you're you guys some of you guys are really wanting to change your frequency or get into a different vibration altogether so that you can actually grow a, a tree it, it, into something more akin to what you're looking for so take a look at how maybe you're approaching the situation how it feels you know uh, when you're approaching love for example do you have an idea in mind that's you know kind of clouding your vision one more we have have faith in your dreams so maybe some of you guys gave up hope in the past here with this five of pentacles maybe someone abandoned you okay maybe someone left you out in the cold and you were hanging on to like fear of intimacy or fear of someone leaving you behind mm. All right, Capricorn, feel free to join me down below. We're going to take a look at this romantic cycle some more. These ace cards, there's really good here. I want to take a look at amplifying your positive emotions, and we're going to see overall if we can get just a little bit more advice for this situation, okay? I'll see you there, Capricorn.